Now, once you two get married, advice will come to you likely without even being asked for. So let me get started with three things that I found were wildly helpful when we follow them, right? Number one is say yes when you can say yes. Number two, it's not 50-50, it's 100-100. And number three, don't be stupid at the same time. <laughs> with all the advice in the world, the only advice that I can give back to you is to remind yourself of what marriage is. You two are standing here in front of all of your family and friends, and you're actually committing to all of us and to God to sacrifice your individual desire to serve your individual self, and to serve and embrace this new unit or union that is created by God through marriage. It's pretty hard to be driven without an overarching goal, something that you would call a vision. And I think the two of these people have incredible vision. I honestly think even if they couldn't tell you what it is, they have an idea of what they want. When you got two people that are driven like they are, I wouldn't stand in their way. It's here, Chloe. It's finally here. If someone told me when I picked you up to go to Molly's that I was going to marry you, I would have said, there's a chance, but probably not. I started to believe it a little more that night on the roof of Evo, but again, thought, no way do I deserve this girl. And if I'm being honest, I still can't believe I'm marrying you. My sweet Brooksy, the love of my life. There are no words for how I feel in this moment. A moment that I have played over and over a thousand times in my head. The first day I saw you, I just knew you were different. The kindness in your eyes gave me a peace I had never felt before. Thank you for putting up with my attitude, for breaking down my walls, for letting me into your heart, and most of all, reminding me what a God-centered marriage should be. I know I get lots of things wrong, but I love you more than I ever thought I could love someone, and I'll continue to fight for you for the rest of my life. I can't believe that our wedding day is finally here. You will always be my priority and will always hold my attention. You challenge me, you push me, you love me and you take care of me. You are the exact man I prayed for my entire life. Chloe not only makes sure others are included, but makes people feel included. I want to thank you for introducing me to what a personal relationship with Jesus looks like holding me accountable, and all the belly laughs one could ask for in a lifetime. Brooks, you're it. Knowing Chloe, I knew she would choose someone for their heart for the Lord, their athleticism, and always making others feel seen and known. I'm so thrilled that you and Chloe came into each other's lives. Anyone that knows Chloe or Brooks can see how this couple just makes sense. match one another. You guys balance each other and you are so loved. And I know that people that are loved tend to express love. So whoever these two touch throughout their life, I swear, it's gotta be positivity. 
because, man, <laughs> it's contagious. And I like to say negativity and positivity are equally contagious. The choice is yours. But man, when you got a team of people that are positive, what more do you need other than a vision? And they got that. So I can't be happy enough for my older sister to be marrying somebody that <laughs> I know can, can hold up. And I know the two of them as a team, nothing can stop them. So here's to them.